Thank you, Jacob. Appreciate yeah. that. Thank you, sir. So, um, getting ready for this Texas A&M game, it seemed like the switch flipped to this one pretty quickly. There was a lot of talk about it's going to be on and all that. Mm -hmm. I mean, what was it like to get back to work and start preparing for this one? Uh, it was good, you know, being able to be back with the team, uh, being able to like refocus on, on our goals and not being not settling with being 11 and 0. You know, we want to make it 12 and 0, especially for the scene. Is there a noticeably different energy with this game because of the way last year went seven overtimes, everything afterward, all those things? Can you, I mean, can you sense that a little bit? Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that perhaps, but I would say, you know, this is a new team. They got a new team. There's different key players on their team as well as ours. So, you know, uh, we know there's gonna be a, a new, a new, new, like a new, uh, a new team we playing. So, nothing from last year will really carry over. It's just about how hard we play and how hard we prepare. What stands out? I mean, you've you've been through this game a couple of times when when it's LSU versus Texas A&M. Mm -hmm. What does that matchup look like? What stands out to you about every November when y'all see each other late yeah. in the season? Yes, yeah, it's a uh, it's an end of the year matchup. You know, we always play each other last game and. You know, we were beating them. I guess we beat like they never beat us until last year. So, you know, just seeing how they put that win like on their uh, ball game rings and things like that. Uh, you know, we realize that it's a big deal. So they're gonna give us our, their best fight, and we're gonna give them ours. Did did the like, did it become a rivalry last year? Did the did the complexion of the the series change because they finally got one? I, Adrian was talking about how they put that the score on the cups and like mm -hmm. all kind of little stuff like that. How much is has this changed because of, if at all, because of the way last year went? No, nah, I don't think it became a rivalry, but I think that, uh, you know, it's going to be a hard fought battle at the end of the year, you know, from now until forever. Like, they're always going to try and, you know, put a blemish on our year. We're always going to try and put a blemish on theirs. So that's just how that goes. Did you know they put the score of that game inside the uh, Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I saw it. Y'all got a ring for winning yesterday, I assume. Mm. No, we didn't get a ring. Why not? I mean, this LSU, we we want we want real rings. What was your react? I mean, when you see the the cup, when you see the the their ring and stuff like that, what's what's your reaction as as a player on on this team? Uh, I mean, this just different things float different people's boats. And I mean, I, I don't think anybody on our team would want a ring saying that we beat whoever we say our rival is or anything like that. I think everybody on this team, we only want to ring when we won the next championship or a, a championship. Um, what's this year been like for you, just in your role? Uh, I think people finally started to pay a little bit more attention to the amount of tackles and you being kind of all over the field and your role in this defense um, from last year to this year. What, what has been kind of the biggest growth that you've seen from yourself and what's it been like to see it play out on the field? Uh, you know, just just blessed to be in this position, blessed to be uh, on number one team in America, and you know to be able to uh, have the talents that I do have. Uh, you know, uh, it's just something that you know, as you mature, you, you know, you do better and better, you learn more and more, and that's just what's happening. Um, it's you know, going from I guess asking you about being a little bit more of a veteran uh, to a guy Mo that saw some of his first big action. Mm -hmm. um, what y'all see from him on Saturday stepping in? Uh, we saw him play, you know, uh, fearlessly, not, you know, not playing like scared or anything like that. Uh, obviously, there's some things he's never seen, so you know, he might make mistakes here or there. But just, for, just with more reps and more game time, I think he'd be a great player for us. Uh, He's like safety up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, that's a, that's a good role for him, you know, with his ability to be able to blitz and, you know, make those tackles in the box. Uh, you know, I, th I think that role is very, very fitting. Uh, how much of that has been thinking? How much of that has been thinking that you learned just by doing that? Yeah, they don't, the safeties don't really get too many, like, times, you know, being, like, in the linebacker stance and coming up and making plays, like, as many reps as we do, like, drill wise. Uh, so a lot of it does come with instinct, you know, they just carry over from every other year, they just play football, but you know, a lot of it is uh, also, you know, watching film and critiquing himself.